time for an update video. I have um, not done a lot with the plotter recently. This is the first thing I've done for quite some time. It's also where I'm experimenting with um, the Sakura uh, white jelly roll pens on some non-white paper. Um, I'm planning on plotting a white layer based on a kind of fast spiral technique and then putting a black one on top as well. We'll see how far along we get with that. This is what it's supposed to look like. That's not a very good preview because this is a really low res laptop screen, but maybe it'll be interesting, we'll see. The main bit I wanted to talk about though is actually this. This is actually something that I've bought, which is quite new. I've been kind of disappointed that we didn't have the opportunity to buy the board that I always used for this machine. That was this one. This was the board that I always used to use. It's an iBot board clone. After I bought it, it went out of stock and it wasn't really available. And I was always a little bit disappointed because it had always worked very well. I was very happy with it, but I didn't have a source where I could actually recommend, oh yeah, buy this board if you want to build this plotter or one like it. And I've actually been really pleased that I found the other machine, the other board. The other board is one that actually does, certainly in the UK at least, seem to be available. I've heard from people in the US that it's not, and I'm aiming to try to get someone to give me the link because someone's found a board that they think is similar. I'm trying to get someone to get me the link. When I get that, I will put it in the description. But the idea is that you have a board which is effectively the same as an iBot board, but is significantly cheaper than the original ones. The original iBot boards are pretty expensive. And I also heard from someone, I think from Denmark, who bought one, had some trouble with it, and service was pretty tricky. Um, it was with the price of shipping and everything else, I think it was very hard to actually get anything that, get a fix proposed that wasn't involving shipping it back across the Atlantic. So um, I'd pretty much said, you know, yes, the original iBot board, the official one is very good. It is very practical for many people's needs, but it's pretty expensive. And with the fact that it's coupled with something that isn't, you know, if you have any trouble, it's gonna potentially leave you in a complicated situation. I didn't feel comfortable recommending it. This board, however, does seem to be available. It's from AliExpress and it was £24, which is pretty good. There are 3D printer boards that are the same kind of price, that have much more modern stuff. They'll do web pages and stuff. So it's, you know, it's it's still a relatively old, relatively low-tech board compared to some, but combined with the AxiDraw Inkscape extensions, it's so, so easy. However, that's not really one of the things that I most wanted to talk about. What I really wanted to talk about is those blue things that are sat on top there. This has socketed SEPA drivers. If you look at the previous board, this has soldered in BGA steppers just to the side of those little green terminal blocks. And that's fine, but these are pretty old. They're the Allegro A4988 boards. They're pretty noisy. Um, this one, because they're socketed, you can actually drop in replace the Allegro stepper drivers with TMC 2209s, which is exactly what I've done here. I actually bought those at the same time as I bought the board. Um, they were about four pounds each, and the drop in noise is really noticeable. This machine is noticeably quicker. It still makes a noise, but it's significantly quieter than it used to be. And so I've actually been kind of enjoying having this thing working in that way because it gives me the opportunity to um, use something that's maybe not quite so irritating for people in the house. I just noticed that I'm getting some um, blank bits of the line there. I don't know whether there's something on the paper, but 
that's probably going to deeply annoy me. Also that the paper is lifting slightly, which is going to annoy me even more because, um, yeah, that's going to mean that the pen, the paper might shift around. Serves me right for buying, um, for buying thin paper and trying to use it for a thick pen drawing. Anyway, never mind. The point is, I'm actually really happy with that board. It's the right price. It's available, albeit certainly from the UK it's available. Um, and currently, it is the one that I recommend. I'm going to try and put a link in there, probably in the pinned comment. If I get a better one for the US, I'll put that in as well. But this does seem to be, if you want an iBot board based machine, if you want to have something which is going to work um, with the AxiDraw Inkscape extensions at the moment, based on what I've been able to see, this is one of the best options. So I'm going to leave it there. I might come back to this drawing if it doesn't break halfway through. I might come back to this drawing and show the result at the end of the video. But until then, I'll see you later. It's not going well. Or maybe it will be, I'm not quite sure. As you can see, up at the top left of the drawing, there's quite a lot of blank places. Um, the only reason I'm letting this go is because this is gonna be Concord and it might look like clouds. We'll give it a few more minutes and we'll have a look and see what happens. I have just realized that I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> I've spotted the problem. The problem is one of the other things that I forgot that I was planning on actually mentioning, which is the new um, pen lift mechanism that I've done. It's basically identical to the own one. The difference is that this one's a lot easier to fit. It's a significantly easier fit than the previous one that I had, which was really quite awkward. A um, little bit longer, which wasn't what I was aiming for, but um, fine yeah the problem is i haven't set the down position for the stervo properly which is why the blank bits are coming from this just not touching the paper so yeah i'm gonna have to start that again not that i'm upset i am very upset we're gonna have another go try and see if i can get something that works i'm also using a different plot order option um, this one's not doing any optimization, so it's starting from the middle and it looks a bit more interesting. So we'll see how this one goes. I do like the way the belts move on spiral plots. It's quite satisfying. Last parts of the first spiral going down, starting the second. Second spiral pretty much done. Now the third, you can just see the outline of the aircraft there, but it's super faint still. The image is starting to come out a little bit clearer now. I suddenly realized I should probably explain what this thing is actually doing. Um, this is a type of spiral rendering that I've um, thrown together. The way it broadly works is that there's one spiral, which is just a plain spiral. That's the first one that goes down. All the subsequent spirals are offset slightly from that based on the brightness of the image. So in this case, because I'm plotting white on black, where the drawing, the image I've given it is white, it'll spread out all of the subsequent spirals a little bit more. So in the lighter areas, the white pen is being spread out so that all of the subsequent lines are starting to cover more of the darker paper. And that's giving me this effect where the lighter sky for the aircraft is being formed by the lines getting further and further apart, whereas the darker bits on the aircraft itself primarily. These are um, where the lines are all pretty much lying on top of each other. And so on this drawing, where it's dark, where it's black, the lines are gonna be directly on top of each other. So you can pretty much see nothing but the darker paper. Whereas on the lighter bits, the lines will be spread out and they'll nearly be forming uniform white. I think this is the last one. I think it's the last one, I'm not sure. Pattern's really clear now. That all went down. 
as an experiment, I'm trying another spiral on top, which is um, a wave spiral to try to reinforce the um, grayscale of the original one. So let's see how well that works. Hopefully that will be something that reinforces it. But this one is thresholded so that it only draws on the aircraft and it doesn't draw on the background at all.